everyone, are you currently trying to pick up a new language? Probably you must have decided to improve your English skills. And I believe this is the best decision you have made. Here I am going to give you some reasons that will explain the importance of English language. English is a global language which is spoken worldwide. It plays an essential role in our lives as it helps in communication. It is the language, it is the main language to study any subject all over the world. It is the language of science, aviation, computers, diplomacy, tourism and many more subjects. Fluency of English language will open a world of new opportunities. It is an official language of 53 countries it is used as lingua franca, a mutually known language which helps to converse with the people all over the world. Things without the knowledge of their past history, origin and culture is like a tree without roots. Let's gain an understanding of the history of English. Many of the existing words in English are confiscated from many other languages. To begin with, let's go with an example. Have you ever wondered why CH is in chef is pronounced as sh, whereas in chemist it's pronounced as k, in chicken as cha, and in shamanism it's pronounced as sh again. It is so because the words chef and shamanism are French words. Chemist is a Greek word and chicken is a Germanic word. If we see the timeline, the history of English is divided into eight events. The first one dating back to 55 BC named as Roman invasion when the Roman Empire placed its foot in England they brought Latin language. Research shows that 29% of English language is uprooted from the Latin and 29% from French. 26% English is extracted from Germanic language. Greek language contributes 6% of its share of the total makeover of the English language. Other languages are also there. The contribution of Indian language, many words like Bengal, Banglo, Guru and Pajama are an addition from India that are considered as English words now. We are in advanced and digitalized internet world, 21st century. Lexicographers are still progressing towards accomplishing new words to our dictionaries. Hence, English is the amalgamation of many languages. The four major skills of language learning are listening, speaking, reading and writing. This accords the right key to success. Listening is the primary and latent skill which is known for its responsive ability. It improves imaginary power and enhances the vocabulary. Good listeners are good communicators. It can be made effective with the following sub-skills. Listening for sounds. It involves focusing attention on the sounds that make up words and recognizing them when they appear in other words. For example, in the words sit, tip, bit, pin. Every time when the first letter is replaced, the sound changes respectively. Listening for stress. Stress is the loudness with which parts of words are spoken. Training to listen how a word is stressed will help the learner to understand spoken English better. For example, when we read out the words like caught and coat, we don't stress the word caught, whereas we stress the word C-O-A-T, coat. Listening for attitude. When we listen to people speak, the language and the tone they use tells us what their relationship with someone is as well as what their attitude towards someone or something is. Here we use formal tone while wishing to elders, seniors and officials, good morning sir or madam. Whereas in informal tone while wishing friends, we use the tone hey, good morning, listening for intonation. Intonation is the rise and fall of the voice in a speech, which indicates whether the given sentence is WH question or yes or no question, request or command to express doubt and speaker's attitude. Speaking is a communication medium of learning orally. To talk, we make sounds utilizing numerous parts of our body, including the lungs, vocal tract, vocal lines, tongue, teeth and lips. Now let us learn in detail about speaking skills. 
Speaking skills are the ability to convey one's message information verbally in a proper and a suitable manner. It is the ability to express oneself clearly in front of others. Importance of speaking. Speaking is important in social, commercial and professional life. We the human needs to speak socially right from the time we rise in the morning till night. The four speaking skills are fluency, vocabulary, grammar and pronunciation. Strategies of speaking. Asking for the clarification, asking someone to repeat something, using filters, using conservation maintenance cues, etc. How to develop speaking skills? To develop these skills, the student need, needs intensive practice. Speaking practice is usually done in pair or groups. The types of classroom activities. Language experts have organized oral skills into four types. drills or linguistical structured activities performance activities participation activities and observation activity reading is a skill more than that readers are artists reading is an art form because it requires many of the same skills as making an art when we read we are making the novel the story the play the poem the memoir with the author On the shelf the pages are simply full of black marks but the book comes alive in our hand our ear and our eye every literate person can write and read at least in one language basically reading is the ability to look at and understand the meaning of the written words letters or symbols but reading is a skill means much more than that Reading is a complex process. Reading skills develop when someone takes less time to comprehend the signs and constructs meaning accurately. These skills are important because we read something in some form every day. It is an integral part of modern life. Writing is an essential job skill. Writing is a primary basis upon which one's learning and intellectual can be judged. Not only this, writing equips us with communication and learning skills. It also fosters the ability to explain and refine our ideas, to communicate to others and for ourselves. Writing skill is an important part of communication. Good writing allows you to communicate your message with clarity and ease. During the course of time, you may call upon to write a report or to plan or to prepare a strategy at work. Inevitably, you may suppose to write or to deliver your ideas online through blogs. Poor writing skills create poor first impressions, and many readers will have a immediate negative effects if they found any grammatical or spelling errors. Correct punctuation, grammar, and spellings these are the three key important elements for written communication. Writing skills develops your communication skills. It filters your knowledge and enhances your brain potentiality to the extent of value. It allows you to communicate your ideas to the readers in a more effective manner. It's not about speaking thousand words. It's all about how well you organize your thoughts and present it effectively, simultaneously going along with the readers and listeners one by one. Good writing skills at the workplace help you in several ways. It opens new doors, offers new opportunities. to build your career and to achieve your goals it also helps you to express yourself in a more concise and clear manner and it helps you stand out against the crowd throughout the rest of the world